Hello all, this is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It's January 24th, it's Friday. Woohoo! <laughs> so, interesting news today. New home sales uh, came in at, for March, uh, came in at 356,000. Uh, that was much better than the market was expecting at 337,000. So that's helping bolster the markets a little bit. Durable orders came in at minus 0.8. Briefing forecast was minus 0.2, and the market expected minus 1.5. So, interesting about that. Here is, let me get to this page. There you go. This is what's going on with the S&P. On that news, here's a daily chart, right? So, we've been watching this high base form, been digesting the news every day, watching how the markets digested that news, and we're still holding up beautifully. Again, like I always say, it could fail at any time, so you got to be careful and ready for that with protective stops if you're long. And uh, it could break out at any time to a new level of resistance somewhere in here in this gap back in here. Also, looking intraday, <clears throat> you can see the pre-market, post-market from yesterday, and been on a nice little upward tear. We're in an in ascending triangle right now, uh, but on a little three-minute chart, you just still have to figure out what you're about to trade into, and that is this resistance from back here. And if you remember from my previous video, these two lines were drawn in from pre and post market data uh, from before. If I scrunch this up and uh, bring that 24 hour period data in, uh, even though it can be less significant due to the volume, you still have to take that into account. So here's a gap fill, at least the initial one, A650, A650 right in here. All right, if I zoom in and back this chart up, you'll see that that's a pretty significant number. So we're a gap down. This is also a good swing high. This would also be a good one here around the 86 number. And uh, that's where we're trading right now. So anyway, watch out for these areas going back. And uh, you can see it even better here. So trading long right now in a breakout, intraday might make a little bit of money, but uh, it could also <laughs> uh, stall out very, very quickly. So again, not an endorsement to buy or sell, of course, as we're not in advisors here, but just showing you some technicals uh, that are shaping up. Uh, so the tick and the trend, however, the tick has spent most of the day with a few notable drips below zero, so it's been above zero for a good portion of the day, but the trend now uh, has been above 1.0 almost the whole day and sometimes above 1.2. So that's a bit of a problem and doesn't lend a lot of credibility to this move up. The trend Q, however, starting out high has now dropped dramatically below 1.0 into the 0 0.7, 0 0.6 range, and uh, that's very nice. Again, VIX is a tiebreaker, kind of just chopping around on its low. That's a pretty good sign that uh, we're just in a base right now. Again, it's Friday. People uh, tend to take off a little bit early sometimes, even get a head start on the weekend. So watch how volume is being affected by that, and uh, be careful how you trade long or short into the weekend. So that's my uh, little diatribe here on the markets. Nice to see them, them holding up in the face of all of this and uh, some digesting some news in a nice way. So have a great weekend, everybody. I'll do another video this evening, taking apart some questions if you post comments. And uh, great week, all. Pretty fun to be with you guys. So take care. I'll talk to you soon.